What is up guys, Petfrey here, welcome back to another gun versus gun series where you the viewers can comment down below a gun versus another gun and I'll choose one of you guys and put both of your guns in a matchup and we got a really good matchup today. Last video that we did on this, I asked for a thousand likes and we got over 3,000 almost, we're right on the edge of 3,000, thank you guys so much for all the support on that video. So I'm going to set another like goal on this video and uh, we're going to do a thousand one likes today. 1,001 likes is our goal, and if we hit that, I'll do this in a weekly upload, so I'll set a certain day that I'm going to upload this, and you guys can expect that upload uh, that day of every week, basically. So our like goal for that is 1,000 likes, and also I put a lot of time and effort into this video for you guys, and I always do for these type of videos, so make sure you guys smash that like button down below, I would really appreciate it. Uh, before we hop into this video, I want to do a quick notification shout out. It goes to Paradox Shiruki. I think I said that right. I'm not too sure. I think that's an anime name. I suck with anime, so yeah. Uh, Paradox Shiruki, thank you so much for being active on my channel. I always see you commenting and also being here uh, very early. And uh, thank you for turning on notifications and subscribing. If you guys want a chance to get in a video, uh, turn on notifications, subscribe, and also comment down below as soon as my video goes up. And I'll pick one of you guys to put my next video tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And <laughs> yeah, basically, you guys get it. Getting straight into the video, today is going to be a really, really good gun matchup. As you guys can see by the title, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a competition a little bit. So basically, in today's video, we have the RPK versus the RPK-74. Now, one of these guns have a lot of recoil and a lot of screen shake, and it messes you up a little bit, and then the other one has no recoil, and it's really good. So, I mean, yeah, this is going to be a pretty good matchup, and I just want to say right now before we get into this, I never noticed how good these guns were until I used them. I just want you to know that, and I knew they were good a while back, but I figured they were nerfed by now, but they're not. They're not. They're really good. So these would definitely be both of the two guns that I would use if I'm trying to go, like, trying to be a tryhard and go really good against other players that are good players. Uh, th these are definitely the guns that I would use for that. So getting straight into it, the RPK is going to be going first. You unlock this at rank 55, and I have 1,100 kills with this, so my opinion on it could be a decent one. Uh, but I do have more kills on this than I do have on the RPK-74, just so you guys know. Uh, that's just a heads up, but I do have a lot of experience with this weapon so far. 1,000 kills is decent, but I don't use it that much. I used it a long time ago and then stopped using it. But this gun is really good. Always has been, I guess. And, uh, yeah. So getting straight into the damage. The damage on this thing is insane. 42 studs out to 90 studs, or 42 damage to 90 studs. That's crazy. 42 damage per hit at 90 studs away. That's really, really good. Think about that. That's double the A3 damage and double the A4 damage. Like, it's it's insane. And then it drops down all the way to 32 damage at 150 studs out. 150. 32 damage. <laughs> I mean, like, think about that. That's insane. That's how much damage the A3 and A4 did at that, that not even at that range. From 100, 100 studs out, it was doing 32 damage per hit. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Getting into the fire rate. The fire rate is actually decent. It's not too fast. It's 600 fire rate, which is expectable for an RPK. Uh, you don't want it any faster than 600 or else your gun will be in the air shooting because you won't be able to control that thing. But 600 fire rate is pretty decent for this gun. And going to the ammo capacity, has 45 in a magazine and 135 reserved. So you basically you have 135 extra bullets. And then for fire modes, it has auto and semi. Those are just two fire modes that you can use. Obviously, you can go in auto or you can shoot one bullet at a time if you guys didn't know what semi meant. Uh, but yeah, this gun is insane. Now, one of my biggest comments and... Uh, downside of this weapon is the recoil. I noticed this and I was like, oh my god, this gun is bad. But after I use it for a good, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes of playing a full match of it, after that, it was just, it was easy. Like, this gun was really good. And I also put attachments on it. I used the default sight for some reason. Barrel was muzzle brake, stubby grip, and green laser was the attachment that I chose on it. Don't know why. But the thing about this, the hip accuracy is shows that it has none in the bars. It says zero hip accuracy, but it's actually pretty good at hip firing, just so you guys know. You can also put a, st uh, a stubby grip or a vertical grip on that and increase your hip accuracy a little bit if you guys really like hip, hip firing from close quarters. But my biggest issue with this gun, and you guys will probably notice it as well, is the recoil. But after you get that down, it's really good. Like, it's really, really good. I enjoy the gun a lot. Uh, but yeah, 
On to the RPK-74, I have 650 kills with this gun, so I do have a decent opinion on it, and I just want to say right now, this gun has no recoil. If you guys are that type of person that loves guns with no recoil, but it's really good, um, this is the gun for you. But going into the rank, you unlock this at rank 88, which is a pretty high level. That's almost rank 100. <laughs> uh, but if you guys do have this lock, I definitely recommend this gun. Uh, but we will see if we, what, what gun we decide at the end. Anyways, going straight into the damage. 36 damage from about, uh, I'd say 100 and, 120, 20 da or 120 studs out, you do 36 damage per hit. It's kind of hard because you got, if you guys seen the graph on these things, it will be kind of hard to see. But that's roughly what it is. So 36 damage per shot, 120 studs. That's pretty good. That is pretty good, but then it drops down all the way to 21 damage per hit at 165 studs. That is crazy. <laughs> um, 165 studs, 21 damage per hit is actually pretty good. If you think about it, if you go back to the other gun, that's doing slightly more damage than the other gun would, the RPK, uh, from that range. So that is good, but the RPK does beat this gun from close quarters damage. It does 36 damage per hit up close. So, and the uh, RPK does 46, or 40, 42, I think, 42 damage per hit up close. So definitely the RPK wins in the damage-wise up close and longer ranges from 150 plus studs out. The RPK 74 would win there. Uh, the fire rate on this is 650, which is 50 more fire rate than the old, or the RPK. And then moving to the ammo capacity. It's the same as the RPK, which is 45 and 135 capacity. Uh, and then fire modes, auto and semi. So you can go in full auto or shoot one bullet at a time. Now getting into this. Now, as always, you guys can comment down below. This is the part of the video where everybody just wants to comment and put their opinions out. Obviously, we all have opinions of what gun's better, and we all perform better with every gun. But I'm not trying to base it off of that. I'm just trying to overall talk about stats and what gun would benefit you guys if you used it longer and got good with it, basically. Um, but getting straight into this, you guys can always comment down below what is your opinion on what gun is better. But right now, I'm kind of leaning towards the RPK because the damage like this thing was really good i didn't like it at first for a good 10 minutes or so i didn't enjoy the gun at all and then my second game playing with it i really enjoyed it like i got the recoil down i got used to it and i was destroying everybody with it and then i moved over to the rpk 74 which has no recoil and it's like that is a big benefit that that's a big benefit is no recoil and then having this decent damage so basically, this is based on your guys' opinion and what one's better. But in my opinion, the RPK definitely takes this one for being the overall better weapon for damage-wise. Uh, but the recoil is insane. So if you guys can get that down, I think that will be the better weapon for you guys. But if you guys like no recoil, powerful guns, the RPK-74 is definitely for you. has slight recoil, but really controllable. And you can shoot longer ranges with this gun. So I definitely recommend that. That's why it has more damage from longer range. Um... But it, this depends on you guys. If you like more recoil or you like guns that have no recoil. Obviously, you guys are going to pick rank 88. But I think the RPK wins because it's a lower rank. Does more damage up close. Uh, and overall, it just seems like the better weapon just because of the damage-wise. That's, that's about it. Damage on the thing is insane. This is probably one of my harder episodes to choose because I do like both of the weapons a lot. I enjoyed the RPK-74 because it had no recoil. And that's another weapon that destroys people. Um, but this is more comparable comparable to the M16 A3, the RPK-74 is. It's just slightly better than the A3 or the A4. So if you guys enjoy weapons that have little to no recoil, this gun is for you. But if you guys like guns that have a challenge that are potentially a lot better, if you guys use them a little bit, is definitely the RPK. So anyways, the RPK takes the cake in today's video. You guys can always comment down below your opinions, what gun is better, what gun you like better, and uh, I think the RPK wins. Tell me in the comments what you guys think if the RPK wins or the RPK 74 wins. As always, I would like to see what you guys think. Don't argue with each other. Just have a back-to-back -back conversation talking about what gun you think is better. But that's going to be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, smash that like button down below. 1,001 likes is our like goal for me to upload this once every single week. I don't know what day that will be, but the next time I upload this next week, you'll figure out what day that will be on. Uh, and you guys will be able to expect this type of video uh, that day of the week every week. Just so you guys know. If you guys would like to uh, get a chance to get a shout out in each one of my videos, hit the notification button down below, which is a bell. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Not only that, comment down below at the start of my video as soon as it comes out. And the first person to be here, I most likely pick you for tomorrow's shout out. So the faster person here and comment down below, hashtag notification squad will definitely be in the video in the next episode or the next video overall. Anyways, I'm going to go. Thanks for all the support recently. I love you guys and peace out. <laughs>